Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. That's a beautiful metaphor, Arthur. Long way each to land we know. You're so poetic. Real open country. You know for a fact, I had to change my little outfit, looking a little bit damper with my vest and dressy shirt and my little hat here, looking all nice and cute and everything. Oh, what's going on here? Seems like someone is uh, escaping, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I want to see something quickly. Maybe it's one of those pecky little kids. What? Did he just kill the guy? Now that's what I call a good day's work. Wow. Either he killed him or he beat him up. Either way, shoot. I ain't judging. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. He really just sucker punched this guy. I wasn't able to see it. I missed out, but screw it. I'm on my way over to Dutch right now to figure out how we're going to get Jack back, so wish me luck. There you are. You and here I there. am. Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Trust you? Place. Trust you? <coughs> Whew! Must be. You okay Some now? nerve. I guess. Trust you. This, I gotta see how it's gonna Excuse play out. Me, sir? We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. First of all, Dutch, I thought you said trust you, but okay, I guess oh, we're already no. whipping out our pistols and guns and shit. Whatever. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Sure. Dutch, go first, since you want to make a scene already. Man. No more, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I'm here. Guilty by association, I guess. I don't know. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead 
in this room before it's done. Dutch, I thought you said to trust you. Are we really about to have a shootout? You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Oh, wow. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you 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 twist words you lie shameless i gotta shave my face everyone else I really got shit in my face. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. What? <laughs> Just like that. Foe to friend. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but... Uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? So we no, have to work no, for him, no, Dutch? No, no. So Is that it? This. You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is wow. It? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> this guy is so... Salute. Oh my gosh. I mean, I admit, we done it without getting shot at. I mean, Dutch did something, right? How many hours were we at the house for it to go dark all of a sudden? He's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. I agree. I agree, John. This whole thing just stinks out ignorance, but to each their own. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. And that says a lot, Poor especially kid. since Dutch's I mean, track records are horrendous. He's okay. I He's hope fine. so too. I, I hope so too for your sake, John. Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branch for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I hope so too, because if it turns out Jack is dead, I'm willing to shoot okay. this whole da this Take whole this damn town. Keep it paint down. it red. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. <laughs> Why don't you try going straight? I can't. I can't go straight. I don't know what that is. Sorry. So this is the cemetery? Oh man, it's so very eerie. Like Edgar Allan Poe eerie. Like the raven, the 
call the house of the usher. Okay, so if we're looking for some grave robbers, oh, let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'll check this way. Keep it down. We don't want him to bolt on us. So we gotta sneak on by or something. Wow, this is insane. We're actively looking for grave robbers. I don't know. This this cemetery is a little bit scary for me. Definitely has some spooky vibes, if I do say so myself. Oh, this one's nice. Huh, a nice little flower, some candles, dead bodies here. Okay, let me go to the other side since John's already in this corner. Are you really following me, John? I'm gonna go this way. Oh, so you are following me. Okay. I guess John doesn't want to be by himself. I can't blame him. This place is pretty scary as it is. With its eerie atmosphere. I hear a dog, though. Ah, oh, I hear voices. Let's follow the dog. Oh. Someone's in there. I can't really shoot because I don't know if it's a grave robber or not, but... That dog. I want to see what's up with that dog. I see someone right there. No, that's a statue. Where is that dog, though? Bendito. Huh. I am playing cat and mouse here. Oh, why is that? Oh, it's the old lady. Okay. Let me, uh... Let me see something. Bendito. I think I see some. That dog's so skinny. When's the last time you had food? I'm gonna feed you. Yeah, right in here. Grave robbing? Are you here? I'm gonna shoot your asses. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. All right. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Yeah, I almost shot you. I thought you were robbing graves. Man, this is crazy. Here. The dog disappeared, too. I don't even know where the cute little animal went. Let me see here. I don't find any robbers. But I hear one. Ooh, I hear one. Oh, let's go. One, two, three, drink. What? Oh, we're getting shot at. We are getting shot at. Hold on. Let me let me go and do some tobacco tobacco chewing. Come on, right here, right here, right here. Let's go. Damn, I'm taking so long. Woo! This is crazy. Come on. Where you at? Ooh, where you at? Come here. Come here. Thank you. Got one. I got one. Woo! 
Ooh, nice. All right, John, where you at? What? Come on. Right here, right? Boom, right on your chin. What? How the hell? What? Screw you, buddy. I ain't gonna get beat up because of you. Come on. Like that. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Come on, let's go. Come on, drunk. Woo! This is cute. This is so cute. Come on. Come on, let's go. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna loot you. And he... Wow, my hat. He made me drop my hat. How rude. Let me go do some more tobacco because... Let's go. Right here. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Nineteen bucks? We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay, say less. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Look at Arthur just judging. I love it. Let me see but you know, John does have a point. What are they trying to rob in the first place? Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Yeah, I know, I'm here. Was it in this place? Think nah, this... In here. Huh. Money? Got it. Good. Now let's get oh, out. let's leave. Say less. Come on. Oh, come on. We'll have to go back the way we came. <sighs> Alright, let's go this way. Come on. What? What the hell, John? Fine, I'll follow you. Let's go. I'm trying to dip. I ain't trying to get caught. Oop, sorry. I'm just... Hide? Okay. Hopefully... Ooh. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. All right, so hopefully you'll leave so we can like skedaddle. Cool. With me. Man, ain't that some bull? I can't believe this. I just can't believe. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm so sorry. I suck at this. I'm just trying to leave. Uh, Arthur, come on, Arthur, move! Yo, I, I can't do well under pressure. I really can't. This is so annoying. Alright, are we even out yet? Because I just want to head away from the gravestone. Man, is one of them coming this way? Because that would suck. No, right? Alright, John. Nice. Finally. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Okay. That was really intense. And no one even knew we were there. Oh, snap! I am so sorry. The map said to turn right here. I am so sorry, John. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Hopefully we'll be able to get Jack back. 
but I, I'm really certain that he's also playing us for a fool, just like those two families. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. We actually got the kid back. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> of course he did. And us, just simple country boys. Right. <sighs> Do I want to go to the said party? No, I don't, but... Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte? I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. The fact that he refers to this man as Papa. Cavallo? That means horse. Aw, and he was learning Italian. That's a slipper. Well, us Puerto Ricans call it chancleta, but... What? Get out. So fancy. She missed me? She sure did. She's been crying, like screaming, know. hollering, the works. Wow. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought... Oh. Sorry, Dodge. My bad. I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Yeah, that was me. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. And you sound so proud of yourself. You this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Uh, what about Jack? He was in on it too. Jack, 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 how are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Yeah. Anytime. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> and I need a shave. Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Rekindle that romance, John.
Look at that. They're all celebrating. How about a song? Oh snap, he whipped out his guitar. Yeah, everyone knows that part of the song. He does have a nice, good singing voice, I'm not gonna lie. Look at Jack with his nice, cute little Italian outfit, man. This is good. We're finally reunited. Nice. I love this. This is cool. Who said that? Nice little welcome back party. I love this. Jack, are you really serious about sitting in the mud in that outfit? No, Jack. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. How are you, Mayor Fellers. Ladies. Miss Grimshaw. Man, 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 this is a nice celebration. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. Tahiti. Shut up, Sister Dutch. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. With the amount of mess ups we've been having, I really doubt there's any room for faith, but Sadie, what's good, bro? How you been? No? Look at her smoking her cigar. Yeah, everyone's feeling lit tonight. Hmm. That is so funny. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.